Hi, I'm Mira. Welcome to Flow with Mira. Are you ready for a challenging advanced full body mat class? If you are, this class is for you. The movement is going to be Pilates complex, but it's going to make you feel stronger and energized at the end of the class. So come along, come meet me on the mat. We're going to start the class standing. Let's stand at the front of the mat. Finding our parallel feet position, standing nice and tall, lengthening through the spine, reaching up tall to the crown of your head here. We take an in-breath. As we exhale, we roll the spine down as we take the head down to the floor, the upper back, the middle back, and the lower back, and allow the pelvis to flex forward and take your body closer to the floor. Inhale at the bottom, exhale, we press the feet down and we roll the spine up gradually to an upright position. We inhale as we lengthen the spine, allow the crown of the head reaching up to the sky and exhale, we roll down again. Going into flexion vertebrae by vertebra and tipping the pelvis forward. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale, we roll back up again and come right up to a beautiful upright position. Now this time we're gonna go halfway. Exhale, we roll down halfway. Bend the knees, send the pelvis back, go into a half squat position here, keeping the arms nice and long next to your ears here. We inhale as we try to grow taller. We exhale, we deepen our abdominal connection. Inhale, lengthening. Exhale, drawing in your center. One more like so, inhale. Exhale. Now bring the arm away from your across the opposite thighs and rotate the trunk and bring the top arm up to the sky here. We inhale as we grow taller, longer. Exhale, can we find a deeper twist? Inhale. Exhale. And take your arms over next to your ears again. Come back to the center. And the other arm across the outside of the thigh. Rotate the trunk. And we twist. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, find deeper twist. Inhale, reach out even more. Exhale, we twist. Come back to center. Roll down the spine. Roll up again, standing nice and tall, and we roll down again to the floor, and we take ourselves quite close to the floor here, so deep fold to the knee and the hip, and then bring your hands behind your bottom, sit the pelvis down, legs are together, let's go to our rolling like a ball, so we find our balance shape here, balancing on the tailbone, Bring your hands just above the ankle, holding tightly on your legs. And we inhale as we roll back to the shoulder. Exhale, we balance. Inhale, we roll back. Exhale, keep that C-like shape throughout the whole rolling back and forward. In breath. Exhale, three more. Exhale, two here last and we stay in the balance for a moment keep the toes off the floor closing your eyes for a second and just be in that balance as we inhale through the nose and we exhale we find a deeper connection through our mind and body with our breath and one more in breath, exhale, and we lower the feet down. Now I want you to stretch your legs along in front of you, legs together, 
Take your arms over your legs, ready for our roll up. So we're gonna reverse it here. So into the C curve, legs are long together and we roll back, sacrum to the floor, lower spine to the floor. Then we take our arms overhead, inhale to the chest lift. Exhale, we peel the spine off into that C curve. Inhale as we, can we grow taller, longer? Exhale, we roll back imprinting every single vertebra down to the floor and arms overhead. Inhale, chest lift. Exhale, come up to that C curve. Inhale, create more space in between each vertebra. Exhale, roll back, roll back, roll back. And now we're gonna add some rotation here. So as we come up, rotate towards me, please. And then we're gonna peel off along that side, rotate back to center, over to the other side, and gonna roll back along to one side of the spine and come back to center. Now we're going to rotate to you as we inhale. Exhale, peel up, C curve back to center, over to the other side, and we roll down. So I'm rolling down through the right side of my spine and I come back to center and I rotate to my right. Exhale, peeling up and then back to center over to my left to you. And we roll down to the left side and come back to center. Last one to the left. Inhale. Exhale, we peel up to that C curve over to the right and we roll down to the right side of the spine. Take your arms overhead here, turn the palms up and stay there. Bring the feet in one and two. Legs up to the table, one and two. Ready for the hundreds. We lift the spine up. We reach the legs diagonally to an appropriate height for you. In breath, exhale. Inhale, can we grow longer? Exhale, can we deepen the abdominal connection to the floor? Inhale, and shh. So keep that continuous conversation within you. Inhale, I want you to stretch the spine along. Exhale, I want you to really melt that lower back down using your abdominal. And shh. Three more sets. Two more. Last one. Now hold, drag the knees in, in, in. Lower the arms out to the T position and lower the chest down. Spine twist, supine over to me as we inhale. Rotate from the waistline, exhale. Back to center, over to you as we inhale. Anchor the shoulders down. Exhale, coming down. So you're gonna really print the shoulders to the floor, print the back of your arms down to the floor and allow the body to rotate from the waist. Inhale. Exhale. One more each side, in breath. Exhale. Last one. Exhale. Now we lower one foot second foot down. I like you to bring the leg closer to me on top of the other leg. Externally rotate like as if you're going to do a glute stretch here. Dorsiflex the foot here and then let's go ahead and rotate towards you as we inhale. Exhale, come back to center. Over to me as we inhale. Exhale, one more each side to you as we inhale. Try to keep the sitting bone nice and long, reaching away from the shoulder. Exhale. And to me, please, in breath. Exhale. Okay, and place that foot back down. Let's go to the other leg. So externally rotate at the hip joint, flex the foot, flex the ankle, and over to me first as we inhale. Tailbone, sitting bone, reaching out. Exhale. Return to the center. Over to you as we inhale. Can we pull the 
opposite thigh a little closer to the floor using your foot and come back inhale to me this is the last set exhale inhale to you exhale and release the foot down to the floor we have our coordination and abdominal opening which i translated it from the reformer exercises so take the arms overhead bring the legs up to the table one and two we lift the arms and the chest coming up to the hundreds prep position shoot the legs forward open close drag the knees in arms up return down again lifting up reaching up open close pulling in arms reach up to the sky and come on down exhale out out close pull in arm come on down two more times exhale pull in arms up come on down last one exhale and come back all right abdominals opening so we come up again to the stretch leg turn the legs out palms in open arms and legs exhale imagine you're making a snow angel floating snow angel here inhale arms and legs open exhale inhale arms and legs open exhale two more exhale last one exhale pull the knees in arms up and come on down just circle your arms right down to the side of your hips for the rollover we stretch the legs long up to the sky roll the spine over dorsiflex the feet separate them lower down to the floor we roll the spine down like you're painting number one with the spine down on the mat point your feet reach the legs away and bring them together and up we go roll over we flex separate we lower down to the floor we roll back down reaching the tailbone down and anchoring a sitting bone point the feet reach the legs away and together up we go and roll over we flex we separate we lower the feet down we roll the spine back to the floor settle the pelvis down point the feet reach the legs away pull up the abdominal and bring the legs up again last one roll over and flex separate and down and roll back 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 and point reach out pull it in bring the legs in lower one foot second leg down for our shoulder bridge but we're going to do pelvic curl first so breathe out deepen the abdominal curl it up stretch the front of your hips press up a little higher keep the arms firmly down on the floor make sure your feet are in parallel and exhale we roll back roll down roll down let's do one more time like that we exhale to roll up again reach up to the bridge now we stay anchor the foot closer to me down to the floor and bring the other one up to the sky and we go flex exhale inhale kick up exhale inhale and pelvis stay high three two one bring it up we point we bend the knee we take the foot down we establish re-establish a pelvis position transfer the weight to the leg away from me bring it up other leg up to the sky we exhale kick down lower up lower up three two one up point bend lower re-establish the pelvis then we roll the spine down ready for the jack knife we take the legs up one second one up shoot the legs forward we take the legs up to 90 
and roll over. Your gaze needs to stay to the sky. Tap the feet down, lifting from the middle back, lower back, press the arms down, press the legs back, right up, vertical. We roll down, roll down. If this is the first time you're doing jackknife, watch me for one repetition and come and join me for the second one. And up again, and roll over. Folding through the hip, we lower the feet down, we tap, lifting from the middle back. Then, lower spine. Then, pushing the legs back, we roll down. Your triceps needs to work a lot. Again, up, roll over, we tap. Press the triceps, the arms down, lift, middle back, lower back, reach the legs up. And we roll back, back, one more time. Up we go, roll over and tap. Lifting middle back, lower spine, pelvis, legs back, roll back, roll back. Well done. Bend the knee, lower one foot, second leg, straighten the legs long on the floor, bring the arms overhead for the roll up. We lift, inhale, exhale. We come up, we come up, we come up, we lift the spine top. Okay, now I want you to have your legs straight, flex the feet, palms up for our spine twist. Nice and tall through the spine, to me first. Exhale, and, and, your legs are quiet, rotate from the waist, and, Last set. Shh, 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 shh. Come back to center. Separate the feet as wide as your shoulder. Now from here, rotate to me for the saw. Arms reach forward diagonally here. Roll back up. The back arm comes to the side. Open the other arm. Come back to center. Over to you. Inhale. Arms. And hinge forward and roll forward a little bit more. And back arm to the side, arm and center. And rotate, arm forward, hinge. And lift up, back arm to the side, open the arm and center. We rotate, arm and hinge forward, reach. Back arm to the side, open the arm, center, last set, rotate, arm, reach forward, gaze to the leg, and come up, open the arm, and center, last one, twist, arm, forward, long neck, long spine, and back arm to the side, open the arm, center, Bring the arms down, legs together, spin the legs behind you, go onto your front for our back extension, then our swimming. So we have the arms long by the side here. We have the neck long here. We gather the legs together. We anchor the ankles down, power through your thighs, and we inhale to work. Exhale, come on down. And two more left. Exhale, come on down. Last one, lift. We stay, circle the arms forward, neck is long, float the legs up, right arm, left leg, left. Left arm, right leg, left. Right arm, left leg, left. Left arm, right leg, left. And let's go for the swimming, inhale. Exhale, we move from the shoulder joint and the hip joint. Elbows are long, knees are straight. Five counts, inhale. Five counts, exhale. In breath. Exhale. Two more sets. In breath. Exhale. Last. Exhale. We hold. Lower the arms and the legs, bend the elbows, bring the forearm to the side of the shoulder, push the floor away, round your back, sit the pelvis down to your heels, 
for a quick rest position here as you inhale and exhale. I want you to tuck your toes under, lift the pelvis up to an up stretch position. Okay, now sending your sitting bone nice and long away from your shoulder and allow your neck to grow, allow your head to the crown of your head to reach towards the mat in a diagonal angle here. Now lower the heels down for a good stretch at the back of your legs. We inhale, lengthening the spine, exhale, ground the feet and your hands. Now, the leg closer to me, take it up, point that foot, take it up to an arabesque position. Hold strong in the arms. Circle the leg out to the side. Flex the foot as the leg come underneath you and then reach a point to the arabesque. And side, flex the foot. Two more points. So we've got the leg circle here in an upstretch position. And last one, to the side. And then reverse, we go to the side. Point to the back and lower flex and side, point to the back, and lower down, and two more, side, long strong arm, point, and lower, last one here, and point, now I want you to bring that leg on top of the other leg, rise up onto the tippy toe, go into your front support, your plank position, so you're balancing on one foot here. And then you're going to pivot facing me. And we're gonna take the arm up. Actually, you're gonna face away from me. So we're gonna reach arm up to a side plank position and bring the arm down and come back to your plank position and lift the leg up to the arabesque. So we still have the same leg up to the sky. Bring it down, up stretch. Just gather yourself together first. And then let's go to the other side. We bring the leg away from me to an arabesque. Open to the side, circle down, flex. And up. Circle to the side and back. Two more. And one more point and strong arm, strong shoulder, reverse out to the side, back and two, point as the leg goes back behind you and three, point. One more, then we're going to bring the foot on top or behind the other leg ankle, rise up onto the ball of the foot, go to that plank, front support position, strong arms. Rotate towards me this time, then bring the other arm up for your side plank. Stay, five, four, three, two, one. Come back to the front support position. Lift that leg up to the arabesque, lower down. Lower the heels down, go another stretch here. Sending the pelvis long, keeping the neck long here. I want you to bend the knees now. Lift the heels up, bend the knees, sit back. And then we're gonna jump forward and count of three. So three, two, and jump the feet between your hands and sit down. Straighten the legs. Good job. And let's go to our back support and balance control back. So half your feet slightly apart there. Okay, chest is nice and open, spine is long. When you're ready, let's go. Press up. Inhale, hinge down. Exhale, hinge up. Inhale, hinge down. Exhale, hinge up. One more, we stay up. Kick the leg closer to me, up for five, four, three, two, one. We switch and one, two, three, four, five, and down, lift up a little higher and 
Come on, done, excellent. Cross the leg, onto your front, straighten the leg behind you and come on down. All right, ready for our full high swan. Now, gather the shoulder blades down, forearm on the floor here, anchor the feet, inhale. We send the tailbone to your feet and lift the spine to a maximum thoracic extension. Then we press up, we press forward, we lift up, neck is long here. Then we descend ourselves down. We do that again. Think about reverse articulation of the spine as you come up. So we gather the shoulder blades down. Then we allow the head to grow to the crown of the head. We allow the neck to grow forward and up, upper back, middle back. Then the rest follow through, hips forward, chest forward, legs are straight and long, and descend, resist, resist, resist. And we go again, two more. Inhale, forward and up, up, up. And the final extension is in the hip joint there. Exhale. We descend ourselves down. All right, one more time. Inhale, tailbone reaching to the feet, press the feet down, lifting forward and up, forward and up, forward and up. Then we take ourselves down here. Now, once we reach down to the floor, legs together, float them up, arms are to a T position like aeroplane, bend the knees, get your Ankles, please. All right, ready for our rocking prep. We go, inhale, hip extension, back extension, knee extension, we lift, 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 and we come down. Again, three more times. Inhale, try to get the pubic bone down to the floor as we come up, and up, and up. And we go down two more times. And in breath, lifting. Lift everything up. Get the thighs off the floor and come down. One more time and then we'll take ourselves to some rocking. So inhale, lifting high, higher, higher. Now from here, we rock forward and back and back and back. Back, three, two, one, lift, and come on down. Release the legs, forearm down, push the floor, and into your rest position. Sit back, back, back. Take an in breath, and exhale, and we roll up the spine. Come sit down on a mat. We've got our teaser, one, and then we're gonna do some crap, okay. All right, so when you're ready, just two more. So we lift the spine tall, we curl the tailbone under a little bit, we bring the legs up, straighten up, arms. We roll back, arms overhead, inhale, lift, and reach high, exhale. We roll up, arms overhead, inhale, lift, reach tall, again, roll back, arms overhead, inhale, lift. Can we do one more? And we roll back, arms overhead, inhale, lift, 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 and we lower, brilliant. All right, cross the leg in front of you. We're going to do crap here. If this is your first time doing crap, please watch me for one or two repetition and then come and join me on the mat, okay? Just one thing you have to be careful about the crap is how much pressure you put on your head and on your neck. Really work on rounding the back using the abdominals. Okay, so we have the leg cross. All right, grab the end bit 
off your toes. And then we're gonna round the spine into that C curve, push away off the floor, round back. All right, and here we go. We round, roll back, cross the leg, switch, grab the end bit of your feet, bend the knees, press down to lift up, and gently, carefully press your head down. And we round, switch the legs, then bend the knees, now here, press the knuckles of the hands down to lift up and over. And press away. All right, if you're joining me, let's go. Cross the legs, bend the knees, and roll. Press. If this is too complicated for you, just go ahead and do seal puppy or rolling like a ball. And roll back, straighten the legs. Change, bend the knees, and Press the knuckles down, lift up and over, gentle with the head. Use that abdominal, press down and roll. Switch the legs again and press down, lift up and over. And press up and switch the leg. Last one here and we bend, roll up and over. Now here, stay, roll up the spine, take your arms up to the sky. We take a moment to grow taller, lengthening the spine. I want you to gather your inner thigh, do a little squeeze towards each other and lift up a little higher. We in breath, exhale, press the arms down. I want you to grow taller. Longer, right down. Then release the ankle behind you. All right, and then bring your hands next to your knees. Push the floor away and round yourself into an upside down. Just sort out your feet, make sure they are in parallel and fall deeper through the hip. Grab the back of your ankle, use your arm to help you go a little into a deeper fold. In breath, exhale, one more, inhale. Allow your head to be dangling down and relax, release the arms, soften through the knees and we roll up, vertebrae, vertebrae, vertebrae. And we're going to finish this class by growing taller through the spine, by standing upright, by gathering a firm feet to the floor, Le lifting through the crown of the head and allow yourself to be light, as light as a feather, strong in the center, light in the neck. Inhale together with me, you may close your eyes. Exhale. Allow the breath to calm your body system and notch down. Inhale. Exhale. You may open your eyes. And on that note, thank you very much for working out with me today. That was one challenging class. Hey, keep yourself hydrated today. Stay mobile for a few more hours. Don't sit down just yet. All right, so um, I'll see you back on the mat tomorrow for another amazing class with me. All right, take care and have a fantastic day. Thank you for watching and completing the class. I'm Mira and I'm here to help you to love, look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my seven day beginner challenge. Click the first link in the comment below and sign up. You will receive daily workout videos Focus on building a sustainable practice in as little as 15 minutes per day. This is for all levels as everyone can gain a deeper understanding of the Pilates fundamentals. If you enjoy my work, please like, 
comments and subscribe and pin on notification so you do not miss any of my free classes and programs. See you on the mat tomorrow.